All right, what's up, guys? Time for semi-final action here at the U.S. Open. And we are underway, 57 kilogram semis in the red. That's Tony Ramos out of UNC. He's taking on Ohio State's NCAA champion, Nathan Tomasello, three-time All-American for the Buckeyes. Coming off a third place finish at NCAAs. Ramos, a two-time world team member. Moved from University of Iowa to UNC in the last year. Finds himself in the U.S. Open semis. These guys vying for a spot in the U.S. Open finals and ultimately a bye to the World Team Trials finals in Lincoln. And early passivity warning going against Tony Ramos. 44 seconds into the first. Hands to the face from Nathan Tomasello. There's a club sweep attempt from Nathan Tomasello. Thumb right in the eye from Nato. Took out the contact. Back underway. Lefty caller. There's a shot from Nathan Tomasello. Cleared out. Ramos getting his level changes going. Both these guys won on buzzer beaters in their quarterfinal match. Ramos over Pirelli. Nathan Tomasello over his longtime nemesis, Nico Megalutis. Two on one. Now cleared and pulled off. Tomasello keeps taking ground. Blue passivity being offered by the judge and confirmed by the chair and Matt official. Ramos going to go on the shot clock here. 134, so at 104. Or no, excuse me, that was Tomasello that got hit for passivity. So a warning apiece, there's that post left side high crotch from Tomasello. One passivity warning for each guy, so the next one, someone will go on the clock. And that'll, that'll probably be coming soon. The chairman has his left hand on the red paddle for passivity, and they're gonna hit Tony. Tony Ramos gonna go on the shot clock. Ramos, super tactical wrestler. Been in a lot of wars, won a lot of tight matches. Same can be said for Tomasello. There's a shot attempt from Ramos trying to get to his single. Tying him up is Nathan Tomasello. Tomasello doing a good job tying Ramos up, making it tough for him to work for a score. Now wrist control, now two on one for Nato. It's just eight seconds for Tony and he probably has to start thinking it's gonna be giving up that point. Four seconds. And now remember, it's not a hard stop anymore, so they're gonna wrestle. Caution and one. No more cautions anymore, it's just a one point. So, Tomasello strikes first. There's a sweep single, nice shot by Nato in deep. He's got good head position, he's gonna take him out for one. 2-0 in favor of Nathan Tomasello. The first real committed leg attack from either guy, and Nato plays it safe, takes the, the easy step out point, and he's poised to take a 2-0 lead. There's a single leg attempt from Ramos. Front headlock from Nathan Tomasello, now double unders for Ramos. Three seconds to go, and the first period is gonna end 2-0 for Ohio State's Nathan Tomasello. So a takedown for Ramos will put him back in the lead by criteria. And we are back underway, second period, hands right to the face from Tomasello. Hard club. Ramos loves to get to his collar, pull on the head. His best stuff comes off of reattacks typically. Thomas Sell is going to have to be aware of that. Ramos has that traditional right leg lead, and that's how Thomas Sell got to his single leg. Nato's long regarded as a left side high crotch guy, but he scores 
anymore, almost just as much with his with his single, especially against elite competition. Against a lesser guy, you might see him fire up high volume, high crotch. There's a single leg attempt. Nice reattack from NATO. But Ramos was ready. Another single leg attempt. Nice reattack as you see. That's where Tony's really dangerous. Almost had it. Good defense from Nathan Tomasello. Cleared out. Ramos taking ground. Some more. Single leg attempt. Can't get it. Front headlock now for Nathan Tomasello. And I wonder if Tomasello could be going on the clock soon. It could be merited given the positioning from Ramos as well. And there's a drag attempt from NATO. Another attack here from Tony. You could see him go on the clock. There's another attack from Tomasello. Doing enough to stay on, off the clock, at least for the time being, but they're gonna hit him anyways. This feels, you know, typically they'll give each guy a shot on the clock if all things are basically equal. And that's what we're seeing here. So now Nathan Tomasello goes on the clock. And Sean Garrett with an 11-0 check of Alan Wars. There's a single leg, Nathan Tomasello. Ramos clears out. Nice level shake. There's a re-attack from Ramos. He's in deep. Short time here on the shot clock, but plenty of time to work for the finish. Back trip, nothing yet. Ramos. 30 seconds. There's the point. And what's going to be the call on the edge? One and then two. One, and just one given. Interesting, sometimes you'll see that called continuation on the edge. This guy wants one and one, because there's... I said one and two. Just time ran out, then he So one and one puts Ramos in the lead. So they give the shot clock point and the step out point. And I think, that, I think that's a great call. I think that's what you, the call you make. But now the impetus is on Tomasello to score as it's 2-2 now. NATO's been in this position for needing a takedown. He's found a way to get it. He has picked up his hand fighting consider considerably. His hands are moving. Ramos is trying to evade, stay in the middle of the mat, looking dragged there once again is Tomasello. 34 seconds as a single leg's fired off by Tony Ramos, 30 to go. Nathan Tomasello changes his level, tries to get to his high crotch and can't, fires again. 24 seconds and Ramos has to stay engaged and he's gonna get warned for attention. Now, if he gets hit again, if he doesn't stay engaged, they could go caution in two here. They've been doing this very consistently. Ramos has to stay in there and battle or they'll go caution in two. There's a single leg and NATO's coming hard. 10 seconds, will they do it? The official is indicating towards him. Five seconds to go. Are they going to let him go? Three seconds left. Ramos staying in the middle. And Ramos is going to hang on to win. Two to two. Tight match. And the last score criteria is what gives it to Tony Ramos. And this could be a Tony Ramos, the Sean Garrett U.S. Open final. And our camera guy says this could be an amazing match. And I think he's right. Those two had an incredible Olympic trials. Was it a semi? Whenever it happened, it was a crazy match.